What's going on guys? My name is Anthony or Big B Stats and welcome to another Minecraft sort of a showcase video for you guys here today and I'm going to be showing you what the battle maps look like when you go outside of them. Also if you can drop the video like and share it, it is much appreciated and shows your support for the channel. So the thing about this is that the battle maps are very very interesting. Currently we are on Valley. Now this is going to be quite cool if you've never seen this before like myself so we're gonna fly all the way up now these battle maps are uh, up for download as far as you're able to kind of like go into the world and creative kind of like how I am now so we're able to kind of fly out and see exactly what 4J Studios the team kind of built around the map and what it kind of looks like from a distance but uh, Valley looks really really good and it, I almost didn't expect it to be like a complete flat world and also floating <laughs> just like this and again it's very interesting so I'm gonna try and show off as many maps as I can today uh, maybe I'll do a part two to this if possible if you guys want to see the rest of the maps but here's Valley again uh, it looks very interesting again the fact that it's just floating up in the air there was like a village over there which the village looked quite interesting because I never really seen a village in the Chinese mythology pack. It's just those little things you just may not really notice uh, as well. But uh, yeah, it looks really good. I, I definitely want to say they did an amazing job on the valley map. And you can also kind of take into appreciation all the work they put on the map when you kind of back out of it and see it if that makes any sense so let's go ahead and check out shrunk now we did do a video on talking about elytras in battle mode which again i just love flying the elytras but um we were flying inside of the map we didn't really go outside of the map so now we're outside of shrunk and take a look at this look at this like all the detail and everything they added and the thing about this is that I don't think they expect, or maybe they do a little bit, people to kind of see this. Like, you don't really kind of count on people really just, you know, or at least everybody getting outside of the map. I know some maps did have these glitches where you can kind of like get out of the map, but in a way, it's kind of like one of those things you don't really do. I think they built this stuff outside of the map as kind of like a safeguard. Like, you know what? Not only did we build really good in the map, oh, check check out that, that blaze right there. I think that's just a reflection from the inside, but I think they actually just kind of, again, built that safeguard out, so just in case someone does get out of the map, kind of like how we are, it's actually, it looks good outside of the map. Like, even, oh, there's like the nice little battle sign that you can see down there. There's also like little redstone over there as well. That could like be going to like a light, I think, inside of the map uh, too, but the fact that you have like this fence or so, I remember like when I first kind of looked at this, I was like, wait a second, like, where am I actually at? Like, what? <laughs> I, I didn't know that this was outside. They're like, they have a complete type of house over here too. They have a massive fence outside the map. And again, these are things that people don't really see. So the fact that they have this in here is just, again, super, super uh, good and dedication that they don't really slack off on anything. Uh, this little house here, not saying they had to build like interior in the house, which of course they don't actually have to do that because that would be, unless this was like a hint at maybe like another thing or it could have been like maybe they started off with that and was like, you know what, maybe, you know, I, I gotta also look too if you can actually see outside of that window in there, but I don't think so. Every time I play on Shrunk, I never really look out of the, out of the world to kind of see if I can see something outside. So it, again, another little interesting point there, but the fact that they did all this outside of the map looks really, really good. We also got like a chimney up here too. And again, I'm going to see if I can uh, go. Yeah, I, I definitely don't think you really pay too much attention when you're in the map if you can actually see that outside of it. But uh, yeah, really, really good. Now, let's check out the map Dig. Dig is uh, one of those maps where that's just kind of like, how shall I say this? It kind of reminds me... It reminds me of a, of, of a world I've seen before. I just can't necessarily put my finger on it. I can't think of the exact world I've seen before, but uh, overall, this looks really, really good. It's kind of like an ice version of Frontier, just a tad bit, but it's covered in snow, of course, and look at that. Now, this one's on the ground. Again, I was really, I, I don't know, like seeing Valley and, and seeing that it was off of the world was just like off of the ground. It was like, Whoa, that is crazy, but it's always cool to go in creative on these worlds because you can kind of get to places that you could never go to before like under this ice uh, You can go all the way down, but of course there's probably nothing down here, but 
you're allowed to just kind of go around the world freely, which I love that a lot. And not in actually like a timely manner, I think, too, because, of course, you're not on the battle mode game itself. So you kind of have all the free time that you want. But let's take a look under the map. Let's see if there's something under here. Something like I, I, so part of me feels like there's going to be like some Easter eggs or something like that. I don't know. We'll, we'll just have to see. I, I don't know if they even plan on putting Easter eggs outside of the world either or or the actual, you know, the battle map itself. I don't know, but that'd be very cool to see if they did. But the way they built all these structures is really, really nice. And it's also kind of motivation to me and also kind of like inspiration in a well because I do build worlds here and there. But I think to see kind of like 4J built, like I I've seen them live on stage at Minecon. They built, they built really, really good. The team is amazing at building. Uh, but overall, very, a very good job. Very good job on Dig. Now the next map is going to be... Leia. Leia, which uh, I did a live stream before. This is one of the few maps I actually went out of completely. So I did a live stream on this and I was trying to fly up with the Elytra and go completely down. Like I was flying up super, super high in the sky and I was trying to go completely down into one of those little crater holes over there. I think the smaller one and like fly straight down into it. But I, I kind of kept missing it. But nonetheless, we had a lot of fun playing battle uh, together too after it. But uh, yeah, Leia is good. It's kind of like what you semi expect a tad bit because the the outside uh, like the walls are all I think this is like it could be coal I think this looks like I think this I don't think this is wool no no, no. I think the whole entire map is made of coal if I, oh there's some fire down here oh what is this uh, maybe maybe that's just for sound or so or maybe just something's on fire But that could be just for sound so when you're in that area you kind of hear like fire And everything's pretty much added for a reason in a way or, or I mean some things in Minecraft could be added for no reason when it comes to map making Like there's been times where I build a map and then it's like, you know, like I don't know why I put that there It's like kind of pointless I guess just to kind of fill it up But I wonder what this little like meteor is too. It almost looks like a meteor attack just kind of comes straight down but layer is is a beautiful map well constructed well constructed and very dangerous <laughs> looking I wish there was like a door over here we can see what's what's kind of behind this door that kind of looked like a door too but this should lead me out of the world yep leads me out and I think the whole I almost feel like the whole ground outside is also bedrock or coal as well so let's go ahead and check out I believe this is Cavern if I'm not mistaken. I always get cove and cavern mixed up every single time But uh, this one is probably one of I think I think this is cove. I think this is definitely cove so the thing about this is that a lot of people love this map. I mean, uh, everyone loves this map here, which is by far one of my not least favorites. I think it's a really good world to play on. It just kind of has like the basic thing. So whenever I kind of think of battle mode in general, I straight think of this 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 world here because uh, you can also see that this was kind of expected. This was one of the first few ones. This was definitely kind of expected, I think, because the world is just kind of like out or so yeah this is this is definitely cove because it, it, it definitely has to be but the world is kind of like out so they actually have an actual world outside it's not on a super flat if, even if you were just exploring and you see like this massive wall here you could probably get up there like whoa what is that and, and i think this this just definitely fit it fits the the scheme i guess to this world too like i just don't see this being so natural and being like in a super flat it just kind of wouldn't make sense at all if you get what i'm saying it just it just wouldn't make sense at all so uh great job on this one now let's check out cavern now this is cavern again of course the other one was cove and the thing that makes this quite interesting is that this also has an outside world to it Two and like it looks like it's just in a complete jungle now this was totally called for too. i think the worlds that are more natural looking kind of have like the complete worlds outside of it so let's just fly around and let's, let's just keep oh hello villagers i see the villagers over there i'm gonna like the whole world is just it's just huge it's just like do they just like pick a spot for this do they kind of clear out an area or do they do they kind of i think they they more or less like i've always found that interesting like to see worlds that are built in worlds like this it must also take a lot of work too. Not so much for the background, and being that we don't even see the background doesn't really mean that much. But I think they probably 
break out the middle and, and kind of figure out what they, cause they kind of have to work around it. See, the thing about building in super flat is that you're on a, just a, a blank canvas. And although Minecraft is a blank canvas, when you have everything kind of in the way, it can be quite difficult to build. Like there's sometimes I've thought about building on a world like this. And if it fits the scheme or if I did it in a flat area, then that's fine. But I guess for them, since they had to just dig down, all they had to do was just dig down, blow out a bunch of TNT. And being that it goes down the ground, I can't seem to find this again either, which I, I've just completely lost. I feel like where it is, it was somewhere over by a village, I think. And that, <laughs> that's, that's the thing too. Like, imagine going into just a regular survival and going around and then you fall into a, a, a cavern like that and, and then you, it turns out to be like the battle map. Oh, oh, can we get, nope. I, I, I literally have no idea where this map is, you guys. Not at all. But yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video, you guys. I do hope you all have enjoyed. That's gonna wrap it up for getting outside of the battle maps. Uh, if you'd like to see more, let me know down below in the comments. I think there's a, a couple of more maps too that we could possibly uh, look at as well if you're interested in seeing but let me know what was your favorite down below in the comments but remember to leave a like and share it and feel free to subscribe for more and it also really shows your support for the channel and i will see you all in the next video bye